Okay, you tubies, I'm sure this one's going to rustle some jimmies. Jesus Christ existed. Yes, he did. And so did his disciples and apostles. I believe, as other researchers who get basically no press, that he survived the crucifixion and went to Kashmir. And he is said to be buried in Kashmir at Rosabal. The Muslims have taken this over. They've tried to say that it's a Muslim saint that lives there or a Muslim holy man, but it is not. And the Indian people used to go and visit St. Isa, said to be buried here for quite a while until the Muslims took it over. Now there is a researcher named Susan Olson who traveled to many ancient biblical graves and tried to get DNA, especially in Rose Ball, and she almost did it. And she was blocked and kicked out of that country, basically, out of Kashmir. She's still trying. But he existed. And also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a video that I am mirroring from YouTube about St. Thomas, one of the apostles being buried in India. And there are people in India that still make pilgrimages to the church that he is built, buried in or under the ground of. And they have a, I, I don't know if it's the real thing or just a, a statue of what he looked like. And he looks like either a Semitic or European man. So it's there. And if you do your history, you'll find out that the reason people were very angry at the Catholic Church, besides the Inquisition and the nonsense that they were pulling, but they were selling parts of the saints and the disciples and I, maybe even the apostles' bodies as holy relics. So you can do some research on that. I Maybe I'll do some of that. I'll delve into that history. And... You know, that was a big turnoff. But um, yes, he did exist. Now, the question as to what exactly he was is a whole nother ball game. And as I've alluded to in other videos, there's something incredibly strange about the testimony of how a, a blind angel came to this virgin girl and said, you're going to have a child and she was impregnated. Then he had all of these powers and abilities. He was transfigured uh, up on a hill. It was a UFO type encounter. A voice spoke from a cloud. Satan took him up onto a mountain and showed him all the kingdoms and said, choose one. Well, how did he do that? And, you know, Satan could be an opposer. It could be Prometheus. The devil is is Kronos. There can also be many devils. So no, I'm not uh, taking this lightly. I'm not just putting it under the rug. These people existed. Do your research. Do your research. This, the physical evidence is there. And there has to be a reason why certain individuals like Jesus Christ, Helen Blavatsky, Adolf Hitler, uh, Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, any of these people that did certain things constantly get ripped on. They're defamed. Some are, the older and older it gets, they try and say they never existed or the whole history is turned. Um, why? Why? There's physical evidence out there. This should be on your news. You should have people making all kind of movies about this. You should have all kind of press over out in uh, Rose Ball. Somebody should be confronting the priest about this and the Muslims and the Jews and the Pope. They should have a camera crew out in India looking at all of this. And in fact, this woman did get on a, a, a program in India. That They know it. They call him St. Isa. So, 
you, there is so much hidden here. And just like I tried to work on the Lovelock Cave mummies and I got blocked, but, I, you know, that story isn't over. We're not done with that. But this woman was trying to get a project to get some DNA and not disturb anything and put everything back, and she got blocked and run out. Uh, there's a little bit more to that story, but you can research her stuff. She wrote a book. Let her tell you in her own words some of the things that went on. But she isn't um, the first to know and travel and write about this. There were other people before her that were traveling over there in the 1800s. I think Rorick was one of them. And they knew about it. And like I said, a lot of Indian people know about this. Hindu people. So check into it. Thanks.